great. And boy, he had a tremendous scholastic career. We'll get a chance to talk about that as well. First play, though, is a running play to Calvin Hill. Split a man over to the right side, and it's second down, and only picked up one on the first play. Hatcher will air it out, and here is the ball knocked down. That was a catchable base on the road next weekend. Here's the third down. A little bit of time, and the time will give up, and the ball is on the deep. But, uh, Brian, as you mentioned during our break, the weather is already showing a factor in today's game, and this is a little flare-out and a successful one at that. Tight end set up to the right flank. 21 personnel here. And they try to rush the football there. In the coverage. And the handoff goes to. And they'll swing it around just a bit. They change things up. A little flare to the right side. They've got an interesting screen out there and blown it is number 22, Lincoln Perry. Perry averages 4.5 yards. Here comes some pressure running out of the pocket. Hatcher, he's running for his life now, and he's caught from behind. And two in the backfield. Dukes will bring it up. Here comes some pressure off the back edge. That was Q Reed and nearly breaking through. Boy, that was against Georgia State. Play action. He'll drop back. Got some time. Finds. JMU showing pressure here. Looking over the middle. He's got a man caught. The ball is loose. And it's Torres. Torres Jones. Crowd will get into it here. Despite the weather, quite a few did show up. It was a sold out crowd for a family weekend. Low snap, the handoff. Perry tries to get to the outside. Isaac Upage that was gained, it wasn't very much. They would only get half the distance to the goal, so it wouldn't make a very big difference. There's the block you see. Way over here on the left corner. Hi, we have empty here. Robinson with the snap. In his own end zone. Hatcher waits, lofts it out, and nearly picked credited to Torres Jones. He hands the football off to Perry, gets around the edge, as in the backfield, got Mateo, but it's all going that back to a first and ten, actually a first and nine, once they back it up, and swallowed in the backfield, and the 14. Back to pass, Hatcher has time, and overshoots his man, and 0 for 3 thus far are the Bobcats on third down conversion tries. Hatcher scrambling, dumps it off, he's got a tight end that's all alone, not enough for the first down, I do believe. Well, I've got 65 yards of total offense thus far. The handoff is to Perry to the short side, and he is uh, pulled down from behind as wanted to, to work in. It threw kind of a monkey wrench in things. Two in the backfield to protect. They're going deep. they got a man open, but he's overthrown. Two tight ends, though, to cover. Looking left. Now looking here to the right. Now looking further and throwing it and it's bounced Hatcher former Alabama former Arkansas State quarterback will hand it off to Perry and per contest Jones picked up that last one Hatcher's going to flare it out nice one handed grab by Perry he eludes one tackler empty up Sam Kidd the safety over there they go over the middle again a ball tossed up in the air for ninth all time Here's a handoff to Perry. He gains a couple of yards. Guys, keep in mind, he had a shoulder injury in the first drive of the last game against App State. Played through it. It took him a couple of drives to get ready to go. A little slant lead with Torres Jones, the linebacker with four tackles thus far. And this is just aired out. And that is for Hatcher. Jamie's bringing, bringing a blitz here from the field. And going deep. And this is almost an interception last week. And he did an excellent job covering the receivers for App State, particularly in the latter stages of the game for a couple of hours near Roanoke. It's a big corner for being a true freshman. Here coming up, it's Paris tries to extend the territory. Handoff, Perry up the middle. He's got a big seam, and he exploits it and picks up the... Jamie, you brought pressure from the edge, but uh, Perry was able to, to get the first down right up the middle. Hatcher will pass to the right side, lofts it out there, and just be in yards when he was in high school. That's crazy. <laughs> it's um, unbelievable. And here he's going to dump this off, and a nice adjust. 13, Charles Brown. The Brown pulls it in for the score, and so the shutout no more for James Madison. Now, as they did score on their last possession, as 
have they made some adjustments and read some things here at halftime can they turn things around and just chased out as Hatcher he'll throw it harmlessly of Hill since he went out early on Perry has been the primary ball carrier and this time he squirts his way through Hatcher looks right throws right he's got the first down Barbie is there tip to uh, Duke Sean blitz that's over the top and there's Logan second down Hatcher backs continues to retreat receiver falls down and here come that's Hawkins in motions Perry second third try side two tight ends for some protection and nearly a hole but getting away on the run is going to dump it off but not good. and that's blown up in the backfield Perry gets the football and right away on the near side for JMU Hatcher retreating looking downfield lofts it and nobody home Third and about 14, here comes the pressure, and he goes down. Was the only holdover from the Everett Withers staff to the Mike Houston staff. As Perry finds a seam, good patience there by Perry. And Tonga Valoa right now is, uh, many people are around the country. Killers. So a second and uh, a mile, basically, 22. He was uh, very active with the athletic program, and they're putting more more uh, resources into their programs to Louisiana Tech so Levi decided to walk on with Louisiana Tech even though the Bulldogs told him you're never going to play sure enough entering play last year in spring camp he was the fourth screen credit to that offensive line too. Nick Kidwell Cole Potts Tanner Morris Tyler Stevens Tayshawn Wyatt uh, they've been good today also and the ball comes free again 2019 to 2020 again working with the wide receivers but Signetti rehired Miller in January of 2021 said he was smart coach Signetti uh, alluded to in our conversation and question about uh, Miller being hired was that when he was in there he was also in there with some game and ultimately the title in 2017 he was on that team really well for the Dukes on the back line Although she just doesn't play on the back line. She's a little, a little bit of everywhere. Hole on the right side. Now, volleyball actually did lose today, so they suffered their first Sun Belt loss. They're three and one in league play. Duke showing blitz from the, the field. And it breaks a couple breaks of tackles. Out. Yep, and gets to the outside. And ridden down by Booth on not much at all. Inside and standing it up. That ball teams in your east in the east division and then rotate through in the in the west. And the pass caught. There's Hawkins, who has been very quiet today. That one going for 17. Trying to bounce it to the outside and dropped it to five. 27 seconds remaining. I'm sure that these coordinators want to score and stop the score here. And bouncing it to the outside, there is the score counts. Touchdown. That's the end of the game. So a touchdown is registered on the final play of the game.